FSHD is a lifelong sentence of suffering. It's a muscle wasting disease. You can't walk properly, you can't close your eyes. It's very difficult to swallow, to breathe sometimes. It's a horrific disease. It affects my grandmother, my auntie, my mother, all my cousins. So FSHD has truly made a big impact on my family. I was diagnosed with FSHD when I was 13 years of age and it actually made me realise why I was so slow and why I couldn't smile. It gave me the information I needed to know what was actually wrong with me. And I was so depressed. I couldn't understand it. I didn't know what to do. There was no help out there. You just had to get on with it. And as I grew up, my body started falling apart. My shoulders were winging, my face was drooping, I couldn't smile at all. People didn't want to know you because it was too hard for them. You lose your friends. But I just kept going because that's me. I just keep going. I, I don't let things stop me. There's nothing I can do. There's no treatment. There's no cure. There's nothing out there. The doctors don't understand the disease. They think you're normal. We're not normal, we have muscle wasting disease. Through research, they found the gene, and because they found the gene, I was able to have my daughter through IVF. And when I found out that I was able to have a child, I was the happiest woman in the world because she would be free of the disease. And I have someone who didn't have to suffer, she would bring love and life to me. And I was being selfish, but that's what I did. I'm glad mum chose to do IVF for me so that I wouldn't have to have FSHD because I know that her childhood was like set back from everyone else's because she was always never able to complete simple tasks like everyone else was. And my grandma, she's just always been sick. So that's been hard. But I know that they're happy sometimes. <laughs> oh, we're happy because we have you and you're light. You're a light in our lives. You shine bright and you're healthy and happy. And you're always helping me out. Well, it's not hard to help. It's just hard getting around why I'm helping because she's so in pain and unable to do things. Like, because she physically can't do it, it's sad often. And I know what it's like to look after someone with the disease. And I try not to put that on my daughter because she's healthy and let her be happy and have a great life. I'm so lucky to not be sick all the time, but some people are, and I hope there's a cure one day. Maybe it won't be a full-time cure, or just like a treatment at first, just to make it a bit better, but at the moment there's nothing at all. So we're all hoping for a cure. A cure would mean freedom, it would mean a life worth living. It would mean we'd be able to have fun and run around and go on a bike and have a big hug and it would mean the world to me. If we all put in money for research then maybe one day there will be a cure. Then it would give me and all the other people fighting a normal life with their families and we can tackle the disease together. And keep fighting because there will be a cure and I love you. I love you too. <laughs>